Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Valley Bomber coming to Oshkosh. The Light Chipper offers metal wing option. And Sikorsky begins CH-53 helicopter deliveries to the USMC. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's May 21st and this is Airborne Unlimited. Oshkosh 2018 is ramping up to be an outstanding addition to an aviator's must-see list. Especially now that we've learned that one of the home-built aircraft community's most amazing efforts is due to make an appearance. Known as Bally's Bomber, the third scale B-17 that has been painstakingly crafted over the course of more than 17 years, is now looking to make its debut at Oshkosh this July 23rd through 29th. The Bally Bomber finally flew for the first time November 26, though builder Jack Bally originally envisioned the project to only require some five years or so. But the result is gorgeous, one of the seven wonders of the home-built aircraft world. This one required 25,000 rivets and some 40,000 man-hours. The Bally Bomber was built by scaling up plans for a one-night scale RC model. But this is no RC aircraft. It is flown by a single person sitting inside the aircraft. The Bally Bomber has a wingspan of 34 foot 7 inches and is powered by four Hearth 3002 two-stroke engines. Her empty weight is 1,800 pounds. The Bally Bomber is expected to be on display all week, alternating between Boeing Plaza and the Replica Flights Association, with exact details to be announced shortly. After the break, Nats takes equity stake in Arion. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-by at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The UK air traffic management service provider NADS has announced it has invested in Arion, the company pioneering a space-based air traffic surveillance service set to revolutionize the aviation industry. Through a network of 66 low-Earth orbiting Iridium Next satellites, Arion SM will monitor the location of automatic dependent surveillance broadcast equipped aircraft flying anywhere in the world transforming the way air traffic control services are provided. Airbus Helicopters Incorporated will offer the Airbus H-135 helicopter as a solution for the U.S. Navy's planned helicopter trainer replacement program. An H-135 demonstrator aircraft and Navy trainer markings is on display this week at the 2018 Naval Helicopter Association Symposium in Norfolk, Virginia. The H-135 is fitted with a glass cockpit, a crash-resistant fuel system, energy-absorbing seats, fuselage, and landing gear. The FAA has awarded an STC to Astronics Connectivity Systems and certification for retrofit installations of Astronics M-Power in the flight deck on multiple Boeing aircraft types. Astronics CSC completed the STCs in conjunction with retrofit projects for multiple airlines in which more than 600 aircraft will provide in-power outlets for pilot use. The STCs are for installations of 110-volt AC and USB outlet combinations, plus power supplies and associated wiring kits, 
on Boeing 737, 757, 767, and 777 aircraft. The FAA has awarded an SCC to Spidertrax and Olympic Aero Services for the installation of additional telemetry unit and automated flight following feed hardware for Type 1 USFS exclusive use in aerial firefighting helicopters. With their newly awarded STC, Spidertrax, and OAS, become the first to be able to offer a simple certified solution to aerial firefighting operations. Well, that's it for today's Ship Around the Patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. One of the more intriguing offerings we'll see at Oshkosh 2018, and undoubtedly an upcoming Oshtar, is the Chipper Short Takeoff and Landing Aircraft, a two-place aircraft kit from B-Light Enterprises, which is now available with a metal wing option. This option substantially reduces build time, reduces drag, and improves performance. Application of the metal skins is bonded by the builder in a simple process which may be done in 4 hours per wing skin. The net weight difference adds 15 pounds to the aircraft. With metal skins, total build time is now estimated at 700 hours. With purchase of a quick build kit and having builder assist install the skins, estimated build time is reduced to 350 hours. The FAA has certified the quick build kit as compliant with amateur built rules. Typical finish weight of a metal chipper is 625 to 630 pounds, with a Rotax engine and 21 inch tires. Useful load is greater than 600 pounds, and engines up to 120 horsepower may be used, said B Light Enterprises founder Jim Weeby. The first chipper recently passed the 200 hour milestone on Weeby's flight to Alaska. Chipper was shown at the Alaska Airman Show. The metal wing option is offered for $1,320. After these messages, Sikorsky began CH-53 helicopter deliveries to the USMC. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. Sikorsky has delivered the first CH-53 King Stallion helicopter to the U.S. Marine Corps. The aircraft is the first of an expected 200 helicopters for the Marine Corps fleet. The CH-53K is a new build replacement for the U.S. Marine Corps' aging CH-53E Super Stallion fleet. The CH-53E first flew in 1974 and entered service with a USMC in 1981. The first CH-53K heavy lift helicopter will be stationed at the Marine Corps Air Station New River in Jacksonville, North Carolina. U.S. Marines will conduct a logistics assessment on the maintenance, sustainment, and overall aviation logistics support of the King Stallion. This assessment also will validate maintenance procedures with Marine Corps maintainers conducting hands-on care and upkeep of the aircraft. Sikorsky expects to deliver a second CH-53K helicopter to the USMC in early 2019. The CH-53K test program recently completed the following milestones. Maximum weight single-point cargo hook sling load of 36,000 pounds. Forward flight speed of over 200 knots. 60 degrees angle of bank turns. Altitude of 18,500 feet mean sea level. 12 degrees slope and landings and takeoffs extended load auto jettison, and gunfire testing. Sikorsky is preparing its manufacturing facility in Stratford, Connecticut to house CH-53K production beginning this summer. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside for normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. 
Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.